Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you one of my favorite code tricks, how to make a drop down folder in your Squarespace website a clickable link. That's right, the title of the folder that doesn't actually have a URL slug can become clickable. So when someone clicks on that, they'll go to the first page in the folder. Now it's just a little sneaky effect that we're doing with some padding and some margin, but you're gonna wanna change a few parts about the code that's listed in the description below. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and show you exactly how this works. So here we are inside Squarespace and I made a little visual to explain what we're gonna do today. The folder itself on your website menu won't have a URL, but the first page inside the folder will. So we're actually going to extend the clickable area up above the folder so that when someone clicks on that, they'll be taken to the first page inside the folder. That will be the destination. I also want to mention this is not for mobile devices. If we take a look at the mobile version of our site here, I'll scroll up and open up our menu. The folder is in a completely different area than all of the links. So this is only for the desktop version of our site. The mobile menu will not be affected. I'm going to navigate to design and scroll down to custom CSS. This is where I'm going to paste this code that's underneath the video. Now, what this code says is take the very first item. This is header nav folder item first of type. So the very first one, if it's an active link, give it a padding on the top of two REM and then a negative margin of two REM. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add a border here so we can see what's happened with those codes. When I open up the folder, the clickable area now extends to the title of the folder. So that very first link will be the destination if someone clicks on the folder. Now, if we remove this padding and margin, you'll notice that border is just going to go around the first page text. I can't actually click on my folder. All the folder will do is trigger the dropdown to be seen. But if I add that padding and that negative margin, that extends the clickable area. Now, this is the right size for the font I'm using on my site but you might wanna do something like 60 PX. You might have a larger font. If you change the top padding, change the margin top to be a negative value of that exact same padding so you can make sure that it's going to extend all the way above the text. So again, change these values to whatever suits the site style for the font in your navigation. Just make sure that the margin top is a negative version of the padding top. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the border. We don't really need people to see that. We just need the folder to be a clickable area. When you're all done, select save and you'll be good to go. And there you have it, a quick workaround for making that folder title an actual clickable link. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Thanks so much for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're gonna love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.